All right, rock the cradle, Joe. Okay, rock the cradle joke. Two versions, an up, upper octave version and a lower octave version. Really, actually a very simple tune in the fact that um, there's not a whole lot of notes, although you can add a lot of things in like I did. Um, you can play lots of double stops and do all sorts of really cool stuff with this particular tune. Um, so, let's start it off here. It just starts on the F sharp, on the E string. Okay, that would be considered the call. The answer... And then the ending lick, which you should really learn... Let's, let me do that a little slower. That's one of those D licks that's going to be in a lot of different tunes that you find, so... That's one of those licks you really want to learn uh, as well as you can. Okay, A part again. That was the whole A part, so that's not too bad. So the A part again. That's a pretty simple A part <clears throat> when you come right down to it. That's some of these tunes. The B part starts on the A chord, so it's on the A string. Okay, now we could break that up into a call and an answer, but I like to kind of use that as just the first call. So you have to swing your bow around a little bit to hit these strings. It sounds a little bit nicer that way instead of just going... But you could do that too. The, the nice thing about this tune is you can do a lot of different things, like I said earlier, in the fact that um, one, when you play it through one time you can do one thing, when you play it through the next time you can play it a little differently, and the next time a little differently. There's, this room affords a lot of room. This tune affords a lot of room for that. So the B part. That's the call. The answer... The lick again... So the whole B part... hard tune to play. Let's do the whole thing nice and slow. A part, call.
answer. thing that's that's a pretty simple uh, rendition of that rock the cradle Joe the lower part starts on the D string okay <clears throat> now you can afford to use a lot of double stops on this particular lower part of this tune because we're playing quite a bit on the D string, and you can use the open A string as your uh, double stop. The call, the answer of the the second part. So those are all double stops. You don't want to use the double stop. That's all it is. You can mess that up. <laughs> Not, you can mix that up a little bit. Something like that. So let's do the whole A part of the lower part.
Alrighty, um, then that's it. <laughs> okay, I've got um, 50 tunes up there right now on YouTube. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a break, not put anything up. I'm going to record all of those tunes on two CDs and offer them as, uh, you know, for sale for you guys if you want them. I'll, I'll, when it's done, I'll let you know. It's going to be a while, but I'll let you know. Okay, thanks a bunch, and we'll see you soon. Rock the Cradle Joe.